Hello and good day, beautiful soul. Today's live, whether you're seeing it now or joining us later, is all about rose quartz. I'll bet you're pretty familiar with rose quartz and the different shapes that it comes in. It can be carved like, <laughs> there we go, into a crystal angel, into a sphere or a crystal ball. And even a tower. I don't know if you can see how translucent this really is. But it has some beautiful, there you can see some of the striations inside of it. Look at how gorgeous this piece is. So what's the big deal about rose quartz? It is the stone of love. It resonates with your heart center. It helps you heal from any kind of heartbreak, whether it is a relationship, you know, the intimate one with a partner or a loved one, it can be family, it can be with yourself. And one of the most interesting things, I think, in my humble opinion about rose quartz is, and I learned this from a teacher of mine, Master Ko, God, how many years ago? And so I don't know if you can see it, like right over here, there on the, see right okay that way <laughs> it's backwards on my screen right there that's a great big huge rose quartz sphere or crystal ball because this space is where i do a lot of my mentoring and do readings and i even teach from this space so i have a himalaya pink salt lamp right there <laughs> And then the rose quartz sphere, which is pretty good size right there. And it helps anyone who is in business, whether you're a healer, a reader, a coach, real estate, CPA, an artist, whatever it is you do, you have rose quartz near you or where you do a lot of your work it will help to cast this beautiful soft glow of love energy and that helps to attract more ideal clients and if you're a shop owner more ideal customers if you are a shop owner or a healing center that has classes and workshops ideal clients and customers it's important to also have some selenite near it or kyanite or to clear and cleanse your chakras or uh, <laughs> your rose quartz, your chakras too, for whatever reason. I must need to clear mine. Rose quartz, if you're feeling lonely or not feeling quite yourself, you can hold rose quartz in, in between your hands. I call that an energy transfusion, a crystal energy transfusion. You can hold your beautiful angel and even the tower. In the ancient days, in the ancient days of Egypt, the Egyptians used to believe that these are sometimes called obelisks. That's not what the Egyptians believe, but these are sometimes called obelisks. And some people call them points and a lot of people call them towers. But the point of this, the very sharp, pointy part, the ancient Egyptians believed that the obelisks that they built in their, in their country, in the desert there, would pierce the heavens and help them get closer to their own deities and their own spiritual connection. Isn't that an interesting tidbit of information? I don't even remember where I read that. But that's a lot about rose quartz. And that's our sharing for today. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for popping by and saying hello. And if you'd like your very own Rose Quartz Tower, Crystal Angel, or your Crystal Ball, pop by our Etsy shop. We have quite a few choices. Thank you for sharing the time and sharing the journey. Bye-bye for now, beautiful soul.